Well, hello everybody. This is Sister Mary, and we are walking out to the chicken coop, and we're going to feed our chicks and also let you see how big they have gotten. They're already running, if you can see them at all. Hello! That was a gift. Look at here. Yeah! Are you ready? So we had a water feeder to bust. Because it's one that I used on the other property, and I thought, you know what? We'll just use it. Yeah. They have really gotten big. All right, now this is my trick to get them away from the door. I just take a little bit of my feed, put it in my hand, start throwing it in, and they all run toward the, the feed, and they clear my door for me. Uh-uh, no escaping, no escaping. And we just, we got their feet already mixed up. And I just start going around in this old water feeder. Works pretty good. Real easy for me to tell too when their feet is low instead of those little bitty things they used to have. Yeah. Nope, it's empty. They're trying to, they're trying to pick it. It's empty. There's nothing in there. I've already given it. We got some farm fresh eggs the other day from our Amish community. And if you've never had a farm fresh egg, you're missing out. They are so much better for you. Now these chicks right here, it has rained some, and they have gotten underneath their little chicken coop. There's a place under there. You probably can't see it very well, but they have dug around and uncovered dirt, which is good because they're looking for worms and bugs. They are very happy out here. And they're doing really good at nighttime going in all by themselves as soon as it gets dark. They just start going in. We're so glad because for two nights in a row I had to catch and put inside their coop. But now they know how to do it. And Brother John is still putting up the fence. Look at him scratching around. Let's see if he'll scratch around for you again. Look at this one on top of the water. Get down. Yep. I'll have to come out again before evening and feed him again. They have grown so much though. And because we got them when they were little bitty, they let me come in here. I moved quickly. I was trying to see if they'll let me pet. So they're not afraid of me. They're right here. They're all around me. I'm right here. 
Yeah. So guys, this is uh, a livestock that I believe anybody can afford. You know, we paid three dollars a piece for the chickens when they were babies. The pen is uh, costly. You know, you have to have a coop. You have to have somewhere. You have to do your laying boxes and stuff like that. But I have had chickens, the experience of chickens, uh, almost my whole life. My great-grandmother had chickens. So even though we didn't have them growing up, my family always had them. And we always had eggs. Then, of course, my great-grandparents, they had pigs and horses and cows. They had several acres. We are just going to have goats and the chickens for now, but we don't have our goats yet. Hopefully, July the 10th, it is the next sale uh, at the Amish community, and I would like to do that instead of going to the, you know, the sale, the auction. We'll just see how that fares. We're still getting our fence up. But this gives you an update on how beautiful and how big the chickens have gotten. And it is a beautiful day here in Tennessee. I pray that you are living a life that is pleasing unto the Lord and before the Lord. You know, this is just one of his creations. Oh my goodness. I got to show y'all. Hold on. You're not going to believe it. Oh, she flew off. The chicken flew on my head. It was this one right here. I was trying to flip the camera around so you could see her on top of my head. What are you doing flying on my head? My goodness. <laughs> You're going to peck at the camera? Oh, pecked my thumb. That's what she did. Yeah. All right, so this is Sister Mary with Homesteading Haven. And this right here is a guinea. Until next time, everybody. May the Lord bless you and keep you. And may you always remember that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world.